Hi guys, how are you today? We are here with another video for Explorations of Me for 2019 for March. This month we're gonna explore, uh, well this year we're exploring more positive aspects of Explorations of Me and this month the question we're asking is what is a positive experience you've had sharing your art and your artwork on social media, on the internet? on YouTube. <laughs> um, if you haven't done that yet, I'd be interested in knowing why not and put something in the comments below. Um, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Grumbly tummy. Um, have, has it caused you to step out of your comfort zone? Or when was the last time you did step out of your comfort zone, especially with regards to the internet and your art and sharing your art on the internet? Her interesting questions. So we're gonna explore that a bit. For me, sharing my art on the internet was sort of an accident because I was bored and had nothing else to do, to be honest, and so was the YouTube channel. That's how it all came to be. I have unexpectedly found a community of people, like-minded people, with the same issues, very talented people, and that I've made really good friends with, and I didn't expect that. I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I didn't expect that. I've also learned a lot from some of these same people. So I, I, it's made me grow a lot in, as an artist and a creative, and I didn't really expect that. It's also, because I'm on YouTube, has caused me to be a bit less of an introvert I still have that tendency, it never goes away, but you do make yourself push past it. I also am a lot more mindful of what I say and to whom I say it, and what I write and to whom I write it and how it's written. There is power in the written and spoken word, and being on YouTube and the internet has forced me to recognize that and acknowledge that, and I am grateful for that lesson even when it hasn't been a fun one. So I'm gonna make a page that I'm gonna to try to display some of that on. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna speed forward through the process and I'll be right back.
Okay, guys. Shaky camera, sorry. All right, I spoke earlier in the month about just having fun with your art and creating random backgrounds. Use up the things that are sitting on your table rather than put them in a bin in a closet somewhere and just collage them on the page. It wasn't about creating a finished piece or a finished page. Um, it was just about using your things, have some fun with the process and creating backgrounds. So this page is one of those random backgrounds that I have created in my journal out of bits and pieces that were laying on my table at one point. Um, this is actually mistake cuts from making the Modern Atomic sticker collection. Um, and so the mistakes were interesting. I didn't want to throw them away, so I glued them down in this journal. And then when I went to go do this month's Explorations of Me, I thought, hey, wait a minute, I like that page for this lesson. And I love the way it turned out. I love the random junk journal messy style of it. Um, not everything has to be about a painting or drawing a face or rubber stamping or anything else. Just use what you have to express your feelings and sentiments about what you want to say in your journal. And um, for me, this month is all about, about being you, uh, feeling the freedom to be you and taking that chance, that leap of faith in yourself to share on social media. Now, artsy endeavors and a life of self, a, a life of art and self-expression, uh, my group and Cindy's Facebook group, Cindy Utter's Facebook group, along with Leslie McGrath's Facebook group, and any others that I can think of that I know are safe places for you all to share your work and ask questions. Um, are the, some of those places, if you haven't shared up until now, you can do and we would love to have you there. They're safe places, they're guaranteed safe places, and anybody who misbehaves is, they're out of there, because um, it's not about that. So stretch your wings, try something new, step out of your comfort zone at least once, and see what happens. All right, that's it for today, everybody. Um, don't forget to check out the links for the other videos this month. And if you would like to and can support the free content here on YouTube and over in Facebook, there's a lot of ways you can do that along with finding me on all kinds of social media by clicking on my Linktree link, which is in the description below. You're going to find a list of links where you can find me, Instagram, Twitter, my Amazon store, where to buy my book, my Etsy shop, my tip jar, Patreon, like all that stuff. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and show the other videos some love in this Explorations of Me series this month. And the most important thing is to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.